Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to show you guys how to create a thumbnail that has three different images in it. It's a great way to create a thumbnail if you're doing like a product review or something for example. It's a great way to get three different images into the same thumbnail. Um, I'm going to throw up now what I'm about to show you how to make on screen so you can see what I'm going to show you how to do. I'm going to take you through step by step how you get each image to more or less overlap the other um, because as you will see as this video progresses the images that I have chosen to use here today um, are not this size and they're not this as they are so before I go any further I want to let you guys know that these images are not my own I do not own the rights to these I have simply downloaded them off Google uh, just for the purpose of this video but without any further ado, we're going to get started. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this in Photoshop today. So I've opened up Photoshop and I've all I've done then is gone to create new. And then I'm going to click on the thumbnail. So the thumbnail size is 1280 by 720. It's the size I use. Whether you can use other sizes, I'm not too sure, but I've never really done it. I've always used 1280 by 720. Uh, the background is black. However, that really doesn't matter for this. And we're just going to hit create. So the first thing I want to do actually before I do anything else is save this file. So I'm going to go file save as. Um, and then I have already made a folder in my Buzzfuzz Central for my YouTube channel. Um, and I've called it tutorial video resources. So I'm just going to call this one. I'm not going to call it T at all. I'm going to call it video tutorial thumbnail three images just as a photoshop so I can keep saving it and if anything goes wrong I can save it that's fine okay so the three images I am choosing to use today are this one of the fox this one of the lion and this one of the tiger okay so You've now seen in full size what these images look like. I'm now going to show you how to actually get them all onto a thumbnail and make it look good. So, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to select to make our borders for our images. So for that we're going to go to view and we're going to select new guide. Now we now have to put in where we want our guidelines to be so the way I do this is I go to here which is obviously zero and that's one end of the thumbnail image and then I go to the other end here and it's the other end I think this is probably about 1275 so I do my calculator 1275 divided by 3 and you get 425 so that's my start point so I'm going to put in 425 here and then hit enter and it will bring up a line like so and then we need to basically repeat the step on the other side so then I do on my calculator 425 plus 425 so you get the line on the exact same side is 850 so I'm going to go view new guide again and I'm going to this time put in 850 and enter and it will bring up another line like so Okay, so now we have the border all set up and we have the two lines going down our screen to indicate the three different sections that we have. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to quickly make sure that our settings are all done up. So we're going to click on view, snap to, and we need to make sure that guides, layers and document board and document bounds, sorry are all selected. In my case they are already and they were before I started the video however it's just best to double check that sort of thing. So with this sort of a project the making new layers is incredibly important you'll see why a bit later but everything we do we every single step we take in a process like this we have to create a new layer for so I have a separate layer to the background layer now and then I'm going to use the rectangular marquee tool to create a rectangle shape on this far left so I'm going to click drag and snap and I'm going to then right click on the background on this far left 
and I'm going to click on fill. Then I'm going to drop down on the contents box and click on color. I'm then going to make sure I've got color selected. I'm going to click on OK and OK again. I'm then going to right click and deselect. Then I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to repeat this process for the middle. So we're going to do clip, drag and snap. And that's why I showed you the settings before. Just make sure you've got those set because then it will snap it for you. We're going to right click and fill. We're going to drop down on color. And this time I'm personally going to use a different color. Now it doesn't matter. You don't have to do this. It's just my own personal preference here. Then I'm going to right click and deselect. And then I'm going to create a new layer once again. And then I'm going to repeat this step on the final right hand side so click drag and snap right click and fill color color and then I'm going to select a pink for this one okay and okay right click and deselect okay so we now have the three colors set up that we need the lines are still in place I'm going to leave those there I'll leave those there till the end of the video I will show you however though how to get those off at the end I'm now going to make sure that the three layers are in the right order so I'm going to put the left right at the top I'm going to put the middle in the middle and the right at the bottom it doesn't have to be in this order it depends what order you're dragging your images on so this is the order I'm going to be dragging them into pretty much I'm then going to bring the fox in I appreciate you guys can't see where I'm getting that from um, however it's just where I'm getting it from uh, that's just off the screen there then I'm going to place that just in with the picture so it's, it, it will chop his tail off however that's how you get the image and then on the right hand side here you can see all the layers so these when you drag them in create their own layers so I'm gonna hit OK for that one I'm then gonna right click and I'm gonna click on create clipping mask and then it will take the bit off I'm gonna do that for each of the images and the sequence you need is you need the image above and the color you're putting over the top of below. So let me repeat that process. I'm now going to drag the lion in and I'm going to drop him on. I'm going to roughly work out where I want him on here. So it will cut off a part of him, but that is absolutely fine. And I'm going to say that, okay, that's fine. I'm then going to drag that down to below the green. So it's in line once again and it chops it again. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on create clipping mask again and then it will chop it off the end okay I'm also gonna just drag that down a bit if I can perfect just so it gets rid of the blue border at the bottom there and then I'm going to repeat that step one more time for the tiger so I'm going to click and drag that on going to drag him into place like so I'm going to say that that's okay I'm going to drag him to where he needs to be and I'm also I mean I suppose I don't really have to here but I'm also then gonna create clipping mask just so it's best practice okay and that really is the thumbnail complete now there's so many other different things you could do with this you know you could add a border around the outside you could add a border to each image individually so you've got three clear boxes here you could almost probably even cut each animal out um, using the clipping tool and then put them against a nature or wildlife background so that you've always got them in their proper home but I'm just going to show you how to get rid of these lines here so you go view show and gut whoops show and guides and then it gets rid of them for you and there you go that is the completed thumbnail already for you I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and as I said if you want to see a more in-depth uh, plan for this then look out for that video in the coming months um, I will add it to the list of videos to make but uh, yeah nonetheless I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in my next video bye bye